This video will cover the use of Cochrane Library in a systematic review search. While the process will be similar to that of PubMed and CINAHL, the execution of the search will be slightly different based on the tools available in Cochrane. So from the Cochrane Library homepage, and before you actually run your search, you want to create a Cochrane Library account so you can save your searches. And to do that, you click sign in towards the top and then register. It'll take you to a Wiley account page, and that is the third-party vendor that PACE has access to Cochrane Library through. And you would fill out the form. And again, remember, you'll be sharing this account with your group mates. So it's a good idea to share the common username and password with your group mates. Now, after logging in, we can go back to advanced search. And in advanced search, there is one particular tab of note. And that tab is medical terms, mesh. Cochrane uses mesh, doesn't have its own proprietary controlled vocabulary. And you'll have to use mesh lookup to identify these mesh terms. So for my, from the same concept map that I've been using in the previous videos, I'll start with heart failure, which I know is a mesh term. And it will reveal that there is an exact match. And just like with PubMed, Cochrane will also automatically explode the mesh term tree. Now, if I want to turn this feature off, towards the top, I would select single mesh term unexploded. In this case, that is exactly what I want. So I'll check that box and then click Add to Search Manager. Now, unlike with uh, PubMed and CINAHL, Cochrane does not allow for a simultaneous search of the subject, subject term and the keyword. So in my search manager, I have to type in heart failure in quotes as a keyword search. And same thing with the other terms. I would run my search. If it's a mesh term, I will look it up here, select unexploded, and then add that to my search builder and then do a separate search for the keyword. Now in Cochrane, if I want to combine all these items, I actually have to type that out manually. So I have to look at my search manager, look at where everything is, and then type that out in the search box. So it's number one or number two or number three, so on and so forth. And then that would be my P column search. From here, I could save my search and it is vital that you do so for Cochrane due to how there is a limit in how many lines you could use in the search manager. So let's save this search and name it. And then if I look at view safe searches toward the towards the bottom, I could see my P heart failure search. Now I can clear all searches because I have to do that so I have the lines available and then do my next column search. So I'll do that with the I column. And now the O I would save those searches separately. 
And now when I want to combine them, I would go to save, I'd have to clear the searches first and then go to the very bottom, view save searches. Now for the first term, uh, column, so the P column, I would click load. And you'll see that my P column searches have been loaded. And now for my I and O column, I would click append rather than load. And this would append the search, my loaded search for P column. So it adds these two column searches. And that I've done that to so combine all of them. I simply have to add one more line and add the searches, the numbers that match with the column search and all of that with an and. And that, is, that would be my final search for my Pico and I could save this. And if I wanted to look at these results, I would click on the numbers to see the detailed results since Cochrane does not automatically load the results. And if I find any articles of interest, Cochrane doesn't have a fully fleshed out save articles feature. At that point, it would be a good idea to implement a citation management tool, whether it be EndNote or Zotero. To find out more about Z EndNote or Zotero, refer to either of the links in the description below.